Hey guys and welcome back to another map editing tutorial. Uh, since the last armor update uh, they introduced uh, hide terrain objects and uh, what's it called? Edit. I think it's called edit terrain objects so you can edit buildings to make look destroyed or you can make them disappear. So I've been using them re quite recently to build yeah, general map stuff. Uh, so all you need to do is I use the search function uh, with the F5. All you need to do is just type in edit, come up with your terrain object, and you can place it on anything. This also allows you to hide the object. So I use other, hide object, and I'll hide one object. You can use the other one, which is the hide terrain object. Eh, both work the same, but this has an annoying, like, circular thing that I don't really like looking at. So you just need to put it into the centre of the building and that building is gone. You can do the same process with the edit terrain and place it on a building. This edit terrain model also allows you to uh, open doors. So I've just uh, destroyed a building to show you the doors are opened. All you need to do is click one of the buildings and the doors are opened. I find this extremely useful for like if you're building a PD and you've always got a problem that the doors don't open because that happens quite a lot. So you can have the doors open, which I think quite useful. Uh, it also allows you to delete pavements, road signs, just anything on the map. I mean, I got to the stage where people were crashing into these, so I replaced them. Sorry, I uh, deleted the object and replaced them. And uh, just makes it so much easier so if you want fences in Kavala to be uh, not run over proof you know run over, run over proof? yeah I've got run over proof then it allows you to use that you can also delete trees with this if I remember apparently not because I didn't have the thing selected and like hidden so you can hide the little base underneath this is the only problem about this is if you do control V uh, it's doesn't really. It takes a little bit of time to select the object that you want. That's hidden. Why are you not hidden? Ah. So you can hide the tree, but this this I find quite useful for hiding the tree if you don't delete the object, like I just did there. So I just need to find that object again. I find that's quite useful for hiding, like I don't know, a big portion of area. But if you just want to delete the tree, you've got to do it in a circle, which is quite useful. Anyway guys, if you need any more help with map editing, that side of things, I'm happy to help. Uh, we'll see you in the next map editing tutorial.